I say I'm gonna do something, I'm gonna do it. That's the kind of person I am. I made a promise, I meant it, and I'm gonna keep it. Going down this road, it's a lot of sacrifice. But like the saying goes, if you want something done right, you gotta do it yourself. My name is Rad. I'm a mixed martial arts fighter from West Jordan, Utah. This is Levi. He's my brother and my best friend. When I step in the ring, I have a job to do. My job is to inflict pain. And I'm pretty good at it. Some people tell me I could be really good. Especially if I had more time to train. They're right. The problem is, I don't. I have another job. Every day, I put this man through a living hell. I twist his neck, I stretch his muscles, I loosen his joints. It's an absolute must for brain damage victims. This is Richard Martinez. He is my father. In the end, family's all you've got. And almost everybody will do anything to take care of their family. I still wonder, I look at him and I still, I wonder if he, if he knows me and recognizes me. Um, that's pretty tough. On April 1st, 1991, when I was 11, Dad was driving home when he was in an accident and was thrown from his vehicle. The doctors told us he wouldn't live. They were wrong, but in some ways, it was worse. He suffered a traumatic brain injury. Our mother had died years earlier. So after the accident, my grandparents took in my brother and me. They became dad's primary caregivers. It was clear from the start that the weight grandma carried began to take its toll. Such a stressful, um, time-consuming situation. And, you know, she never got a vacation. She never got a break. It was 24, four hours a day. God. She'd get so tired, so, so tired. But she'd get up the next day, didn't matter if she was sick, didn't matter if she was tired, she just went back to work and just did it every day. For the next 15 years, Grandma devoted her life to Dad and to us. I went off to college at Clarion University in Pennsylvania and became an all-American wrestler. But I knew eventually I'd be back to help. I'd been home for a year when she went to the doctor. Yeah, I don't even remember what test it was that showed uh, that showed the cancer. Um, it was stage four pancreatic cancer. That's what the doctor told us. And stage four is pretty pretty severe. Rad's bond with Grandma was just amazing. They were like best friends. It was almost like he was her firstborn child. Like she, was, she just adored him. I just know that it, it broke his heart to see her, see her that sick. The cancer got worse, but her mind was still on Dad. She was always so worried about Dad, so worried. She said to him, oh, Rick, 
I don't know what's going to happen to you when I'm gone. And I said, Grandma, I'm here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take care of him. I am. Don't worry. I will. That was my promise to Grandma. So as her life began to end, my new life began taking care of Dad. She'd given up so much for us, for our dad. She'd given up her life. Rad taking this over uh, was, about, was about him, in a way, giving back to her. She could rest easy knowing that Rad was going to follow through with, with his word. She went so easily. And I don't know if it's because she was just tired and exhausted. I think that was part of it. But I hope too, I hope too part of it is that she, she could have been a little at ease that I was here for dad. That maybe she was saying that, that he's in good hands so, so I can go now. I don't know. I don't know. I hope. It's been five years since Grandma died. Not much has changed around here. I've looked after Dad ever since. Good morning, Dad. Levi helps when he can, but he's got a family of his own. It's a round-the-clock job, seven days a week, 365 days a year. I get up at 6.50, I get his breakfast prepared from 7.10 to 7.15, I go into his room, start to get him up, brush his teeth, feed him breakfast, breakfast is done by 8.20. 10.25, I lay him down. 11.40, I give him his lunch. 12 o'clock, I eat my lunch. I get him up at 1.30. 2, 2.15, bring him out downstairs, do physical therapy for two hours. How are you feeling today? Feel good standing up there? You're standing pretty good, buddy. It's been tough, it's been scary. Um, it's not, it's not been fun. I won't, I won't say it's been fun. My biggest fear, I think, is that one day he's gonna wake up and, and regret not having, not having a family and just realize that his life is never gonna get any better. Well, I would like to have a family, but if, if I can't, then I'm, then I'm all right with that because I've made this decision. So for the past three years, this has been my release. It's ironic when you step into the cage, maybe some people would think, well, you're now you're caged in, but, but the real cage is, is at home. Stepping into that cage and fighting is, is kind of like taking off the shackles, unleashing a, a freedom. And all of a sudden, he's got a life. He's got freedom. He's got space. It's intense, it's scary, it's exciting, it's 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 a little bit of the unknown. To become an elite MMA fighter, you have to train full time. I'm lucky if I can get away for more than a couple hours a day. But that's not gonna stop me. The long-term goal is to make it to the highest level. The, the highest level right now is to get into the UFC. I just want to get there and, uh, and prove to myself that I can compete. Rob Martinez has put his due in in the sport of mixed martial arts, and he deserves the big break. And I'm telling you, Hans, it's right around the corner. He's on the cusp of being uh, one of the great fighters. I know he's going to make it, it's just a matter of when.
as a fighter, I've built up a 9-2 and two record and started to make a name for myself. I show Dad my fights. I don't know if he knows it's me. But if he does, I hope he's proud. He never got to see me wrestle in college. He never got to see me wrestle at all. I think if he were were well and didn't have brain damage, I think he would want to see that. So I'm gonna show him. You should be able to watch his boy fight and, and experience that. I think Rad wants our dad to, to know that he's accomplishing something and maybe he's proud of Rad. I don't know where my MMA career is headed, but no matter what, it won't take me away from my responsibilities at home. I'll still be here, just like Grandma was. That's what I promised. Everybody says the exact same thing is, wow, I don't know if I could do that. That's funny to me that, that people say that because I kind of know that a lot of people could do it. My grandma did it until, until she died. I'm gonna do it until A, my dad gets better, B, my dad passes away, or C, I pass away. Some people ask me why I do it why I've taken this on. I look at them and smile. Because the answer is so simple. He's my dad. <laughs>